dying from cancer. The only man convicted of the Lockerbie bombing boards a plane for Libya last summer. He was allowed home to die on compassionate grounds, but could a major oil contract have influenced the decision to let him go? Is it possible he was traded to preserve BP's exploration interests off the Libyan coast? Four US senators suspect that is the case and are demanding a formal inquiry. The bottom line is simple. If it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, then it just might be a corrupt deal between BP, the British government and Libya. And while this former British ambassador to Libya doesn't think commercial pressure swayed the decision, he says refusal could have harmed British business. It was well known in the British business community and I believe to the British government that Libya would take a very severe view if Mr. Megrahi died in a Scottish prison. What would the consequences have been had that been the outcome? I don't know, uh, but going from what happened to other countries, uh, some contracts could well have been lost. The Scottish Justice Secretary stands by that decision to let Megrahi home to die. Newsnight understands his condition is deteriorating. As one source put it, a heavy cold could put him under. But Megrahi has already proved remarkably resilient. Megrahi flew home to a hero's welcome. He's outlived his three-month prognosis by almost eight months. And in America, Hillary Clinton is under pressure to intervene. I've received the letter. We will obviously... The State Department still mulling over those calls for it to investigate possible links with BP. And it's considering separate calls from senators for Secretary of State Hillary Clinton to pick up the phone to the Foreign Office here in London and demand McGrahy's immediate recall to prison. The Foreign Office says there's no mechanism for doing that when someone's been released on compassionate grounds. Was the prisoner transfer agreement some sort of grubby deal for oil? No, the prisoner transfer agreement was a deal, but it was a deal to recognise the fact that uh, Gaddafi had given up his nuclear weapons. If the price for Libya giving up nuclear weapons was that McGrahi served his sentence and died in the Libyan jail, the British government would have been happy with that. Oh yeah, Kenny McCaskill's got a lot of faith to lose, because this is a man who, as an avowed atheist, claimed to the world that a higher power, God, I assume, had judged McGrahi and sentenced him to death. 